Good morning, friends of Zion Evangelical Congregational Church. Uh, I gather this morning with my cup of coffee and my time of prayer and meditation with the Lord, and I realize it's times like these when the faithful cling tightly to God in times of danger and fear and worry over what the future will bring. We run to the one who holds the future in his hands, and we know that no matter what we face, that he is indeed with us every step of the way. And so hopefully uh, you uh, are enjoying your cup of coffee this morning as well, and uh, you have time to contemplate all that God has done for you and continues to do for you each and every day in Christ Jesus. Uh, we're reminded from the word of God in Psalm 18:3 that the Lord is my rock and my salvation. And this is for the choir master of David, the servant of the Lord, who sang this song to the Lord on the day that the Lord had delivered him from the hand of all of his enemies and from the hand of Saul. And he said, I love you, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God is my rock in whom I take refuge, my shield, and my horn of salvation, my stronghold. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised, so shall I be saved from my enemies. I know these are turbulent times that we're living in, and yet I know that God is faithful, that not only does he hear our prayers, but he answers and he supplies all of our needs wonderfully in Christ Jesus. And so as we uh, look to this new day that God has given us, let us uh, look to it in a word of prayer. Let us pray. Father God, thank you. You are just an awesome, amazing God. You are our rock, our shield, and our deliverer. We know that this coronavirus is something that is being taken very seriously, and it's worrisome for so many. And yet, Father, we pray that your hand of healing would fall upon your created world, that you would be with those who are sick and those that are fearful, that you would uh, surround us in your care with the heads of protection and your hand of healing, that you would bring us back to you, closer to you than ever before, Father. May this be a catalyst for people to come to you and to cry out for help, knowing that you will answer, that you will supply all of our needs wonderfully in Christ Jesus. Father, I pray for the, the good people of Zion Evangelical Congregational Church today, that you would be with them as they go throughout their day, draw them close to you, that they might have an extra measure of your love and presence. For these things we ask in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Well, friends, have a blessed day. Uh, I'll keep in touch with you as best I can. We'll probably be putting this uh, weekend's uh, sermon on uh, YouTube sometime today, and uh, you can listen to that and uh, and pray and and I trust that God will speak to you through his word and through the message of hope. Take care. Bye for now.